Remember who and whose you are. Yeah, I will. This is part one of the talk. Be a leader, not a follower. I know. This is not for my benefit. It's for you to keep you Every day, from childhood until now, the same thing, the rules, over and over, drummed into my head, always behind closed doors. As a youth, I breathed their mantra and left it on the doorstep as I walked out into my life. Don't make police come out of this yard. Now make me half a left work to come out of school. Man, I know. That was a mistake. Raising my voice. Lecture 4729 would be next. You're not the same as them. Don't let them fool you. I didn't raise you to be nobody's fool. More often than not, I have sense knocked back into me. Don't get in no mix-up. Because you'll be the one to get in problems whether it's you or not. Because you are the black one. It's not like that anymore. I try to tell them that my mates are blood brothers. Nothing will separate us. They didn't laugh much at things I said, but that always made them crease up. If you don't hear, you will feel. There are different rules. Remember, you know white. That's the start of lecture 1536. A firm favourite in our household. Brav, you're different. I don't see you as black. But I see them every day, playing the race card to get out of their own trouble. I don't ever get to play the race card. Who controls the pack of race cards? Black people, of course. Or is it people of colour now? Or BAME minorities? That's what I mean. Minorities are all powerful then? Well, no. But still you, they, get advantages, if you know what I mean. Advantages? Let's come back to that one, okay? How about this? When was the last time someone who looked like you was told by their parents, you have to work twice as hard to get half as far as someone like me? That's just silly. This is a meritocracy. Everybody has a fair chance at progression in society. That's just willful ignorance talking. Let's talk about white privilege as friends. There's no such thing. I don't have any privileges for being white. You work hard, you get ahead. That's all there is to it. Anything else is... Is what? There's no point in discussing this. It always comes back to how hard life is because... Go on, say it. Because I'm black. I don't see colour with you. I mean... Nor are you. So why are you playing the race card? Playing the race card, for real. The go-to response for most racists who don't want to be called out on their racism. I see you, bruv. Nah, Brian, mate. What you have to understand is we don't live in the past. We live now. Everything we are right now is born out of the past. Both of us. How can we even think of ignoring it? Here's the problem with that. You have to let it go and just get on with life as it happens. Stop griping all the time. For God's sake, slavery is over. You need to let it go. Forget about it. We have. It serves no good purpose to talk about that sort of thing anymore. Life looks different to you. How so? 
Did you ever have the talk, also known as living while black in a hostile environment? Of course not. Exactly. Answer me this. Why do you call me Brian? That's your name, fool. No, it's not. It's Bryden. Bryden. B R Y D E N. It's been in my family for generations. You never said? I did. You said Brian was easier to remember. Sorry, bro. But everyone calls you that. Not my family. Only outsiders. Are you calling me a racist? Bruv, you've more experience with being a racist than I ever could. Wait, wait. But I, sadly, have more lived experiences of racism than you could imagine. I'm not a racist. Okay. Name me some classical composers. You mean like Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, Puccini, Salieri, and maybe Bach? How easy are they to say? Bryden's not quite like them, is it? I guess not, but... But they're white and European, right? What I need is for you to listen, not to explain my actual experience back to me through the prism of your whiteness. Bear in mind that may also include the intersectionality of class and social inequalities as well. And here I was thinking we were friends. Instead, I'm getting a lecture. Friends know and understand each other. You don't know me. Acquaintances, on the other hand. Brutal. You lot are always in the news for something, no? You never see the likes of me on TV or anything. You can have it. Oh, the multiple stop and searches. The, here's the package, comment, when I'm there for an interview, not as a delivery man. They're not bothering to learn my name properly. Come on, man. I didn't know. The sexualization and criminalization of my blackness all in the same glance. It's tiring. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. What can I do? Educate yourself. Do the work. Remember, we all live the consequences of our history. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.